pulling all the yummy carrots out of the ground and taking them somewhere we can't get them. What are we going to do, bud? Line up, buddies. It's time to practice our veggie grabbing tricks. Time to give me a nose twitch. Wiggle your tail and scratch an itch. Reach up high and take your pick. Steal a carrots and bunny grab tricks. Gotcha, silly rabbits. Don't you know tricks are for kids? when it comes to raising crops. It's not just those pesky rabbits that tend to cause problems. It seems like if it's not one thing, it's another. Did you know the Bible talks about farming? When we follow Jesus, we're supposed to grow fruit. And let me tell you, raising someone to be like Jesus is a lot harder than raising a carrot. Welcome to Mr. McDonald's farm. We're glad you stopped by and we hope you enjoy the show.
Hold on, hold on, not so fast. We just want to get an early start today, Mr. McDonald. You know what they say, farm sand work is never done. We've only got one more week to get your harvest in. Oh, well, I'm sorry to say, it looks like you've only got one more day. One day? What are you talking about, Mrs. McDonald? Well, I've been watching it all morning on the news. It's, it's on the iPad. Here, Jeb, take a look. This is Trisha Tess with Weather Update. Our latest bulletin shows a cold front moving from the north, meeting the trade winds coming from the south, fed by the precipitation from the east and perspiration from the west. And all that adds up to one big bad weather day tomorrow. So all the farmers in the tri-country region are urged to get those crops in by sundown. And now, back to our regular programming. I'm sorry, gang. Looks like we got a pretty big job ahead of us. Not to worry, Mr. D. I just am Vinci me neat. It'll harvest those cups in no time. Not another crackpot invention. You know, Alfred, the last contraption you built was supposed to paint the barn. It ended up painting the cows instead. But this one really works. It's all tested and ready to go. Here it is, my latest invention. It slices, dices, packs in the bale, and even ties bow. Wow. I call it the XL Magnum Cop Terminator. Just watch. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Alfred. I know. One day, your inventions are really going to help a lot of people. I am sure of it. Maybe one day. Not today. Mr. McDonald, we're wasting time. We don't need to depend on some machine. I don't need to depend on anybody or anything. I can do whatever needs to get done myself. Well, I stopped trying to do a lot things on my own a long time ago, Meg. I can't think of a more dependable co-worker than God. But we've only got one day. How will we ever get this harvest completed in just one day, even with God's help? Well, it seems to me that God's always been able to accomplish a lot in a pretty short timetable. Genesis tells us that in one day, he created day and night. And in another day, he made the skies and the seas. Why, he even created his children in just one day. But the job's so huge and there's so few of us. Well, that's when you have to really depend on God. You know, he could take something small and do something enormous with it. Like when a tiny mustard seed becomes the biggest plant in the garden, or when a little acorn turns into a mighty oak. Are all of you ready to grow like that? Yeah!
kind of faith it takes to bring in a harvest. Where should we go first? Let's head to the North 40. Those are the fields where I supervise the planting. All right then, Meg, it's North 40 it is. Mr. McDonald, Mr. McDonald, bad news, bad news from the North 40. Well, what bad news is he talking about, Meg? I don't know, sir. This is Spud, my foreman. Well, well, hey, Spud, what's the bad news? The crops, Mr. McDonald, they've all withered and died. We planted them several times, in fact, but they never took root. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Did you find many rocks in the soil, Spud? Yes, sir, lots of rocks. And weeds, too. But whenever we tried laying down new seeds, these big birds flew down and ate them all up. Yeah, well, see, that's exactly what happens when you don't cultivate the soil. Cultivate? What's that? Well, cultivate is preparing the soil for planting. You know, getting rid of anything that might be in the way of the seeds that are trying to go, grow. You, you did cultivate the soil, right, Meg? No, we plowed. Who said anything about cultivating? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, someone had a lot to say. His name was Jesus, and he knew more about sowing and reaping than any farmer that ever lived. I a story about it once. I think it's something y'all need to hear.
right, Robin? Tap to feed on some seed. What do you say, Lark? I'm snatching and scratching, Maggie. But where is the seed? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, ladies. But this here is good soil. The seeds have already taken root and grown. You're going to have to find poor soil somewhere else. Now, skiddy Well, let's play with you. Right, Robin? I should say, what in hospitality wouldn't you say, Lark? We'll never accept a lunch invitation from here, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not just planting, but with deep roots. You see, when you hear God's word and you don't respond, it's like the seeds just lie on the path, the birds come down and just eat them up. But when the message is received, the seeds take root and yield fruit that is a hundredfold. Tell them about it, Mrs. McDonald.
hang out much longer. Yeah, like no harvest, no bread now. Alphanista. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye. Signed, sealed, delivered. Ciao. Hasta la vista, weeds. Too. Yeah, weeds are tough, especially when they've been allowed to grow for a long time. Hey, Alfred, I'm sorry I listened to those guys. I didn't really believe the stories they were telling anyone. That's okay, Spud. Man, we're never going to get this harvest done in time. We're chasing birds and killing weeds, and now the weather's starting to cloud up. Is the soil finally good enough? Well, I'm afraid there's still one problem with our soil. I can see rocks and stones right here where I'm standing. Rocks? In this soil? It's as flat as can be. I don't see any rocks. Well, rocks come in many shapes and sizes. Meg, they can be found in a closed mind or a hardened heart. Nothing can grow that ain't open. You see, this here storm that's forcing our early harvest, it can be looked at in two different ways. On one hand, it's trouble. We didn't expect it, and now we have to finish our harvest more quickly. But on the other hand, it's a blessing. We didn't expect it, but now we'll have our harvest more quickly. Don't fight the rain, mate. Nothing can grow that ain't open.
hard times would help me grow, Mr. McDonald. But I'm learning that I can't do everything on my own. We're going to have to work together, right? By golly, that is right. You see, that's the way we were created, Meg. God knew that we would try and fail on our own. But he loved us so much that he gave us a way back to him. And that way is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way that the seeds of truth will, will stay planted, take root, and grow to bear eternal fruit. That's not man's way. That there is God's way. How can I make that my way? Well, all you have to do is ask. It was in the garden, God created.
world, you were right. It's sure a lot better than trying to do everything on my own. And the Lord will be with you every step of the way. And so will all of your brothers and sisters. Yeah! That's awesome, but even with all of us working together, we're not going to get this harvest done in time. It's just a few minutes to sundown, and we have all these fields in front of us. Uh, I have something that I've been working on that I think will help. Will you go get it for me, Spy? Sure thing. Of course, it may not work, and you may have a better idea, Meg, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Alfred, I'm really sorry for all the times that I made fun of you and your inventions. I think I was just jealous because you were so smart. So I would love to see what you've been working on. Yeah, just give us time to take cover. So if you help me pass the turbo harvester, we'll collect the biggest harvest we've ever had. And you know, that harvest is just the beginning. Why, Jesus has called us all to sow his seeds of love to every person in every land. And that will be a harvest. The farmhands are ready, Mr. McDonald. Well, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I do declare. I have never seen so many acorns turn into oak so quickly. Give them their orders, Meg. Yes, sir. It's harvest time! Harvest time! 